Hello, um, my name's Colin Campbell and um, I work with Grief Encounter, which is the UK's leading bereavement charity for children and young people. Um, we've been thinking of ways that we, uh, we might be able to engage with, uh, with people out there um, during these strange lockdown times. And uh, today, well, um, I thought I'd share a story with you. So um, it's going to take about six or seven minutes to, uh, to actually tell the story. Um, so why don't you sit back and uh, have a listen and see what you think. Okay. Uh, this is a story from uh, Southeast Asia and it's called The Three Eggs. See, so once upon a time there was this woodcutter and this woodcutter worked hard every day chopping and collecting wood and then selling it to the local villagers. Although he worked very, very hard, he was very, very poor and barely had enough money to feed and clothe his family. But one night, the woodcutter had this wonderful dream. He dreamt that there was this tree fairy waving to him from within the hollow of a huge tree. When he woke up the next day, he told his wife, he said, I had a dream about the tree fairy, about the spirit of the forest. She was waving to me from within side, a huge tree. The woodcutter decided that he was going to try and find this tree. So all day he worked very, very hard, chopping wood and collecting it. Now, as it was getting towards dusk, he found himself in a part of the forest that he'd never been in before. And lo and behold, there was this huge tree. It had a big hollow, just like the one he'd seen in his dream. And the woodcutter decided that this was the home of the tree fairy. And from then on, he would take a small gift, an offering to the tree fairy every day. Sometimes he would talk to the tree fairy about his worries, about his troubles, about his life. Now, unbeknownst to him, this really was the home of the spirit of the forest, of the tree fairy. And she decided that she was going to reward him for all his care. So the next day, the woodcutter arrived at the tree and he leant down to leave a little offering for the tree fairy. And what should he see? But a little bird's nest. And inside of it were three golden eggs. The woodcutter was astounded. He knew now that he had more than enough money to feed him and his family for the rest of their lives. He knew he would never have to worry about money again. He knelt down and he gave thanks to the tree fairy. Now, holding the eggs, he started to make his way home so he to show him to show his family. Uh, but then a bird swooped down and in its beak grabbed one of the eggs and flew off and disappeared out of sight. The woodcutter was very sad to see the egg go, but he knew that two golden eggs would be a great help to him and his family. He grew thirsty and he leant down to scoop up some water from a stream and one of the eggs accidentally fell out of his hand and rolled into the stream and there it was swallowed by a huge fish and the fish swam away and disappeared out of sight before he could do anything about it. The woodcutter mourned the loss of the second golden egg but he knew that even one golden egg would be a great aid to him in his family. Now holding the egg very, very tightly and very close to him, he made his way towards home. And when he got home, he showed his family and their cries of joy and celebration, well, these alerted the suspicions of a greedy neighbor who looked in through the window and he saw the woodcutter putting the golden egg into a jar of grains for safekeeping. And in the middle of the night, while the woodcutter and his family were sleeping, the neighbour came into the house and stole the third golden egg. The next morning, 
When the, wood, when the woodcutter discovered that the third egg had gone, he was very ashamed and very sad. He went into the forest and he apologised to the tree spirit, to the tree fairy, for being so careless. And there was nothing else he could do, but he went and chopped wood for the rest of the day with a very heavy heart. As he was making his way home that evening, he passed another tree, a fruit tree, and he noticed that its branches were laden with ripe fruit. And even though he no longer had the eggs, he thought, well, at least I can take some fruit home for my family to eat. And he started to collect the fruit. When he reached up to get a piece of fruit that was way up on a branch up, his hand touched something and it was a bird's nest and he felt inside it. And what should be there? But a golden egg. It was the first golden egg, the one that had been stolen by the bird. Now, he held it very, very, very tightly, and he went home very, very carefully. And as he, got, as he came in through the front door, his wife said, you will not believe what happened. Our son went fishing today, and he caught this huge fish. Now, as I was preparing it for tonight's supper, I opened it up, and inside, there was a golden egg. It was the second golden egg, the one that had been eaten by the fish. Again, there was cheers of joy and excitement from all the family. And again, this alerted the attention of the greedy neighbour, who looked and became very frightened. How can this be, he thought. And in the middle of the night, he took the egg that he'd stolen and he put it back into the jar of grains. The next day, the woodcutter discovered the third golden egg and he sold the eggs and he and his family were able to live pretty well for the rest of their lives but every day the woodcutter would go to the tree and he would take an offering to the tree fairy and he would talk about his life and his worries and his happiness and his joys and his troubles Now that's the story of the three eggs and um, I'm just wondering while you were listening to that story um, were there any images that came to mind? I'm always struck by the image of the tree itself so I'm suggesting maybe maybe you could draw a picture of a tree maybe create a picture with uh, um, paints or with colored pencils or felt tips um, maybe the tree could relate to a special person that maybe is no longer with us Maybe there could be a message there to this person, or maybe some thoughts about this person. Let us know what you thought of the story. Let us know maybe what you've done, what activities you've engaged in, and uh, look out because we're gonna be doing some more stories, more activities hopefully online coming up very soon. Okay, take care now. And remember, stay in, stay safe, Cheers now.